And my normal day-to-day -day work is work working with farmers to help prevent soil erosion off fields and polluting watercourses. Part of my work in Herefordshire has been liaising with Herefordshire Highways, who have uh, directed me to areas where there have been problems with soils coming onto the roads. And then from that, I have rung up farmers and liaised with them as to how we can try and help prevent the problem. This was an incident where we had a report from mud on the highways and I also met Elwyn at a, a talk I was giving. He approached me. Well, it's very nice to be approached by farmers. and We are very careful to make farmers aware that this is a completely voluntary initiative. There's nothing regulatory about it. Our advice is free and all the agronomists' advice is free. We've been out here now, this is the third time. Um, the first time was for an initial site visit, then we came with an agronomist and then the agronomist has been again uh, and has come up with various prescriptions to try and reduce this problem of soil wash. The problem here is that um, although on the lower part of the field where we established um, root crops and left the grazing of it till fairly late, um, since we've got the root crop off and we've planted uh, winter oats above it, the water's rushed off the winter oats down through the gullies and exited this field through the gateway behind me. It's then gone across a lane, across permanent pastures, down through a wood, onto the road and then deposited itself into the River Wye. Uh, we're looking at seeing what can be done in order to alleviate this problem really. We've had an agronomist out here and Elwyn is now going to try a few recommendations, initially to scuffle the roots to stop the soil washing off, but eventually to try and bring the sowing date of his crops back from October into September or even preferably the end of August so that we can get more ground cover in the fields to reduce the soil wash. And in addition to try some um, subsoiling to try and see if we can reduce the panning so that the water will infiltrate rather than run across the fields. With increasing rainfall energy and that kind of thing, we're getting more and more soil erosion. And in this area in particular, ross on wye Horwithy, or the ridge running from Hereford to ross on wye there's just numerous examples of properties being flooded where the householder's insurance has paid up. But I think very shortly it will get to the stage where the householder's insurance won't and they will look back to the farmers that they show due diligence. Therefore, we're trying to encourage farmers to do soil management plans so that if they have a freak rainstorm and soil runoff, they can actually show due diligence. But in some cases, I think it is going to need or necessitate a change in farming practice to reduce soil erosion off, off the fields. If a farmer should cause an accident by allowing his soil onto the roads, he has to be able to show due diligence by having done a soil management plan or some other exercise to show that he's taken all precautions that he could possibly take to stop that happening. But if he can't, then his own insurance prob company probably will not cover him for any property flooding or, or a road accident. And then he'll be left having to pay the, pay the charges.